Hi and welcome to another TechZonk video. In this video, we're going to explore the basics in getting up to speed with Python on the Raspberry Pi and we'll be using the Pi Face device that I've used in some of my previous videos. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, my first move is going to be to log directly into the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to do that using a secure shell. I'm able to do this because I have my Raspberry Pi connected to my home network. I've got a uh, wireless network adapter connected to that, so it has an internal IP address. That allows me to use secure shell and to log into that internal IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'll enter in my password and that should bring me into the command prompt for the Raspberry Pi. The first thing that I want to do is just understand what version of Python I'm running. And I do that using Python-V, that's a capital V. And it comes back and tells me I'm using Python 2.7.3. And the reason I want to know that is because that's going to help me determine what software I need to install in order to support what we're going to do on the, uh, on the Pi face. So with that information in mind, I will go ahead and I will do an install, sudo apt-get install. I'm going to do python dash pyface digital io. Now if I had python 3 installed, I would do sudo apt-get install python 3 dash pyface digital. But since I've got python 2.7.3, what, what I've got uh, typed out here to install, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It should reach out and uh, locate those dependencies. It's also going to check and see what I've got installed. Now this is interesting and actually sort of unexpected. It looks like what it's telling me is nothing was upgraded, nothing was installed, nothing needed to be removed. It's saying that the version of Python Digital I.O. is already the newest version, which means that I've actually already got this installed. Uh, you may see something similar. However, I still recommend that you actually go in to your Raspberry Pi and run this command. And the reason for that is because you may not have it installed. And if you don't, this will certainly take care of that for you. Uh, here it's telling me that not only do I have it installed, I've got the most recent version installed, so I don't have anything to even upgrade. In that case, I should be good to go. But again, I definitely recommend that you do this step and make sure that you've got all of the software that's necessary in order for you to proceed. Now before I begin, I'll go ahead and I'll clear my screen just to keep things a little bit simpler. All right, let me just go ahead and see where I've got to work. Okay, I'm going to go into our testing directory. So I'll just navigate into a directory really quick. I'll take a look and see what's in there. I think we've got some other projects that we've done in past videos. I'll just go ahead and make a directory. I'll call it Python, and we're going to write just a single script, and it's going to be very, very super simple. So what I'll do is I'll first create the script. We'll just call this, we'll just call this test. We'll give it a .py extension. Uh, that's uh, pretty standard for a Python script. So that creates the file. Now I'll just go ahead and I'll use a simple text editor to open that. So we're working right now directly on the Raspberry Pi. So I'll bring this up. Okay, now first, just keep in mind, I am not a Python expert. So Python is very new to me, and I may stumble here and there. And if I do, I'll certainly correct myself, but I'll leave it in the video just because as a, as a rookie, I definitely want to, I want to sort of share my mistakes with other people who may also be rookies. So the first thing I want to do is I want to have an import statement. And that's going to be, let's see, PyFace Digital IO. Let's see, there it is. So PyFace Digital IO is going to be my first import statement. And basically what that's doing is it's saying, hey, that library that I just installed, that we confirmed I already had installed, I want to import that and make that part of my script because I want to use some of those classes to create instances of objects. Speaking of which, that'll be the first thing I do. I'm going to create a reference to an object which I'll call PyFace. And the way I'll do that is by saying, let's go ahead and do PyFace Digital IO. And we will do pi face digital. Make sure we spell it correctly, of course. So pi face digital. And then I'll terminate that. And what that's doing is it's actually creating an instance of pi face digital. That is a class. So I'm creating an object which I'm calling pi face. And then I'll be able to uh, invoke a variety of commands off of pi face. But in this particular case, I just want to do something really simple. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and grab the first LED on the Pi face. And that's going to be obtained by referencing this array of LEDs. 
I want the first one, so I'm going to get element 0. And that returns an object representing the LED on which I can invoke methods. And the method that I want to invoke is turn underscore on. And that's it. So all I'm doing in this very simple Python script is I'm saying, go ahead and initialize an instance of PyFace Digital and get me the first LED and turn it on. So I've got the camera rolling on the Pi Face, which is connected to my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this file. It's going to ask me if I want to save the modified buffer. I'll say yes. I'll keep the file name the same and that'll bring me back to my command line. Now to run this script, I'm going to say Python test.py and let's see what happens on the Raspberry Pi. All right, excellent. That turned on the LED. Of course, the LED stays on because that's all I've got in the script, just to turn it on and be done. So to turn it off, I have to go back in to my script, test.py, and I'll make a modification to the script, and I will change it from turn on to turn off. Let me just go over there real quick. And we'll change that from on to off. And I'll save that change to the script. I'll say yes to that. We'll save it. And then again, we'll go ahead and we'll run Python against our test.py script. And that time you see that the LED turns off. So that about summarizes the basics of using Python on the Raspberry Pi, specifically with the Pi Face, leveraging the Pi Face Digital I.O. There's so much to learn as far as this library is concerned, and I'm really looking forward to getting to know it. But this is really it. This is the basics for today, so I'm gonna close the video there. I thank you very much for watching this video. Of course, please make sure that you like this video if it kind of inspired you to maybe try something similar yourself, but without a doubt, you definitely wanna subscribe as the weeks uh, progress I'll be getting more into Python on the Raspberry Pi, and I'd certainly be delighted if you would all join me. So thank you again, and I'll see you all in the next video.